I've got the coke crown. What's up guys? So I'm just going to tell you, don't paint your car at home. It sucks. <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. It's been a shit ton of work. Pardon my French. It's been a lot of work. And I feel just beat up. Because I stayed up late last night. I had to get it done. And, well, I'm on the last coat. But look, guys, if you're expecting the perfect paint job and it's the first time and your your expectations are really high, you might want to pay someone. It's not perfect. I'll tell you, for what my car is, what I wanted, I'm happy. Looks good. It's going to have flaws. Things I can probably correct here and there when I get some time. It's not perfect, but it looks good. And uh, quite frankly, I think if I let the paint dry a little bit, Put some wet sanding to it, a little buffer. I think it's gonna look pretty awesome because it looks good now. So uh, I'll show you what I did. But if you're wanting my feedback after going through this process, nearly pulling my hair out, just expect lots of sanding, lots of work, no free time and it's going to be about an average paint job. Now, for me, it's worth it. I wanted to learn how to do it. It looks great. You know what? It looks great. I'll tell you, I'm glad I stuck with white because any other color would have been a nightmare. And uh, if you've got the patience where you could let your car sit months and months and months until you get it perfect, then do ignore all the first things I just said. I don't have that kind of patience. I just don't. I want my car back. So I'm here. I think this is going to be the last coat. I'm going to spray one more coat and I'm going to pull all this stuff off, let it dry, and I'm going to call it good. So for all you people following my channel, please keep following, keep liking my videos. Check out on our Facebook. We've got the Arizona Thunderbird Club. Please join us. Even if you don't have a Thunderbird, if you love classic cars, if you like the T-Birds, join us. Join us. Thanks, guys.